yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary and today. Similar to the Lord of the Rings, we also have another really, really big franchise that I just did not watch and that was Pirates of the Caribbean. So yeah, I haven't watched this. I do know of Jack Sparrow though. I do uh, know of the pirates and the action. I know it's weight just through sheer culture. Um, I know Johnny Depp and all of that. I just, I understand the love for Johnny Depp within it. I understand like even the run that he does as Jack Sparrow. I get it all. I just have not watched from beginning, middle to end to either of the films. Now I've seen scenes before. However, I don't know what scenes I've seen before, except for the one where I think they were just showing off the VFX on, um, I forgot the, I don't know, Octopus's name, but like, um, it was just like kind of showing how, even though it was like years back, the VFX was still up to date. And that kind of actually sparked me to be like, oh yeah, I should probably check that out. <laughs> I should probably check that out. So, yeah, uh, this is something that I just thought of. You know, this wasn't even on the, the Patreon polls. I was just like, oh, yeah, duh. I can't believe I forgot about this. I might as well use this opportunity now that I have a YouTube channel to check this out. So, like always, guys, if you want to be able to check out, hear everything that I have to say about this film, because it's probably going to be a lot, uh, definitely check out the Patreon link below. There you can have the full length and all types of other good stuff that comes with being a Patreon member. It really does help your boy out. You can also help out the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, guys, at the very least, I just want you to chill. Just get your favorite popcorn and snacks as we finally hop into Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I got to say, like always, guys, check out the Patreon just in case if your favorite scene isn't in the YouTube edit. I don't know what your favorite scene is. I haven't seen this film. So if you want to check it out, you can. But other than that, A, support my cause in editing this. Drink. <gasps> Quiet, Missy. Cursed pirates sail these waters. You don't want to bring them down in us now, do you? Mr. Gibbs, that will do. And to all my boat experts out there, or historians that know about this world, uh, the era that this was in, let me know, please. I love learning about history. After Master and Commander, I was like, yo, this is super dope. <laughs> and a few video games. What happened here? It's most likely the powder magazine. Merchant vessels run heavily armed. Yeah, that's crazy. Stuff was just getting just <laughs> annihilated out at sea back then just for shipping things there's no proof of that it is probably an accident can you imagine that amazon is just trying to ship some of their stuff and just walmart just <laughs> sends a fleet just to <laughs> just to f them up that's crazy oh he was impressive. about to say a whole thing was lying. Impressive. that's cool how they like hinted that this dude was you know the same pirate guy Pirate kid that came aboard the uh, aboard aboard the ship. <laughs> oh my god! It was just neat being able to see how they organically kept up with it by him doing the tricks and everything. That was cool. <laughs> That's a pretty dope way to start off. <laughs> That's a pretty cool shot. <laughs> I was waiting for what the shot was going to be at to introduce a character like him because he's, that's funny as heck. That's a tiny boat. That's really funny though. That was pretty comedic how they did that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you definitely achieved some form of enlightenment to be able to just vibe at a level like this. <laughs> he is unstoppable. Plus, really. Oh, the Dauntless is the power in these waters, true enough. But there's no ship that can match the interceptor for speed. My man's just charm is to a freaking 10 right now. He's working this thing. No. Like I said, there's no real ship. As can match the intercept. You know how baller you gotta be to be able to just what is it, boat jack? You boat jack a, sh a ship? Oh, 
Damn, yo, this girl is dying. <laughs> I don't know how y'all just wore that. Like, that place looks like Florida. <laughs> what? I can feel the humidity. Oh, damn. He's over here just talking. <laughs> Yo, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> like how they're shooting this and the rhythms and the beats to this. It's pretty, it's pretty clever. <laughs> like this is smart comedy right here. That's also a pretty awesome way to just connect, I'm assuming, these characters. There's a lot of really neat things that I'm just looking at that they're showing and that I can definitely see some subtle plot points being interwoven here. Like her just like taking off that dress or whatever the heck you call that. Just to kind of like, I'm assuming her embracing something. <laughs> I knew you'd warm up to me. Commodore Norings in my effects, please. And my hat. Commodore! That's pretty clever, man. If he planned all that, that's pretty clever. Or maybe he's just like going with the flow, but damn. That was smooth, man. <laughs> you guys are probably like, yeah, yeah, it's Jack Sparrow. It's come on. Oh word. Yo. Damn. This is pretty sick. <laughs> you can open fire! This almost looks like it would be in like a in like a play, but a a play that's literally just out in the in an island. <laughs> like this looks pretty cool. The stunts are so dope. That was pretty cool camera work right there. It seems simple, but just the fact that they had a bunch of stuff going around and the camera just darted towards where it needed to be, and you were kept on your toes on where it was going to land, it's pretty cool. Not where I left you. I'm really digging how they're bringing all these characters to just collide with each other. It's really cool. <laughs> it's very organic with how they're just making everyone's paths join one another's and we're still like super early if i step here very good and now i step again i mean i know like jack sparrow is just naturally good at fighting but damn he's really smart like he's big brain <laughs> yeah. i loved hearing how he was analyzing there <laughs> Clever, what the heck? That was really clever. <laughs> and now the environment's changing and everything. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like having a great time with this, but my brain is like, yo, this is like really. <laughs> like, take notice. This is really cool. This is very clever work here. Practice three hours a day so that when I meet a pirate, I can kill it. Pirates are truly hated. He said, I can kill it. Not them. He said it. Jesus. Alright, both of y'all are really nasty with the sword. Y'all should be just like friends. <laughs> what the heck? You guys are like both testing out each other's match and everything. It's really dope to see. You guys should just be friends though. Bleak. Very bleak. What's that? Oh, damn. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was like an arrow. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that's an arrow. <laughs> that doesn't quite make sense. I don't think I've mentioned it as well, too, but I can't wait that we get into it. You know, the Black Pearl. But I love that there's all these legends and 
uh, stories and tells about just mystical elements that are out at sea. Because that's always been a thing. It doesn't get really... Um, I don't know. I don't really see that often nowadays. Maybe it's because we're used to the ocean, but we don't even know what's in there still. All I'm saying is that I like hearing about the tells. It's cool. I want to learn more about this Black Pearl. They're doing their best to make a PG-13. I'm telling you. <laughs> the, the implications are there. It's effed up, but they're doing a good job making this PG-13. Hello, chump. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Just like that whole scene is crazy. The way he was just gracefully walking to the door. I'm like, do you not hear cannon fire popping off? Like, do you not hear the fireworks at play? That was crazy. Oh my god! Yo! That was insane. That was really hilarious. <laughs> my man got swept up off the ground. Pirates Morgan and Bartholomew, you have to take me to your captain. I know the code. Adversary demands parley. You can do them no harm until the parley is complete. Damn, re really? Whoa. Is that... <laughs> Could you get away with that? Good boy. People are dying. <laughs> that, that's all. <laughs> Trayers and mutineers. <laughs> Whoa. So there is a curse. I see. That was a cool way of showing that. I was wondering why that light was so emphasized from earlier. Because that was like clearly intentional lighting right there. That was a cool way of showing that. Took his arm too. That's... Wow. <laughs> oh, he's really good. <laughs> I did not know a bone from you is missing. Well, I guess you're dead. I'm here to negotiate. You speak when spoken to Wow. My goodness, man. Take her whole head off, why don't you? My goodness. Fine. Well, I suppose if it is worthless, then there's no point in me keeping it. <laughs> Damn, they all jumped. <laughs> Had y'all all looking crazy stupid right there. <laughs> and secondly, you must be a pirate for the pirate's code and you're not and thirdly the code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules damn wow he said welcome to reality oh my goodness <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm having a really good time with this so far <laughs> i don't know what i was really expecting but i'm so happy that even on a filmmaking level that there's so much for my eyes and my brain can just feast on. It's pretty great. It does remind me of my experience of Lord of the Rings. Never. They took me swamp. Oh, so it is that you found it. There's something interesting with this guy. Like, he has a very deep reaction and hatred towards pirates. Specifically pirates. Everybody hates pirates, but he, like... He, he like, like there's something deep there. Will, Mr. Turner, I've changed my mind. If you spring me from this cell, I swear on pain of death, I shall take you to the place. What the heck? Whoa, he knows something. There's some lore being dropped here. I'm sorry. Who's your father, man? Who's your daddy? Come on. Because <laughs> Jack Sparrow seems to have known, or maybe he's just making this up, actually. This is either madness or brilliance. It's remarkable how often those two traits coincide. Um. How? What? How do they do that? How? What? <laughs> is that even possible? My brain thinks that it is, but I can't mathematically compute how they would be able to do that. That deep. Y'all gotta explain that one to me. <laughs> what? Huh. 
How y'all get got like that, man? How? <laughs> that is, that's pretty hilarious. That's crazy how his ship was called the Interception too. And that's what they literally just did to you. Tommy <laughs> <Homie> has <laughs> such a great awareness of the situation. <laughs> Tortuga. Tortuga. That's cool that we got a little bit of his ideology there. He's like, it's either you can or you can't. And what you're not going to do <laughs> is mess with me right now. Because I'm trying to get to Teratuga. Not sure I deserve that. Giselle. It was she. What? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn. Me the tales of the Black Pearl. That's why I know what Barbosa is up to. All I need is a crew. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. They're having a whole exposition, and people are just getting clocked and <laughs> beaten up in the background. If that be the case, you'll be dining with the crew, and you'll be naked. <laughs> Damn. That was, oh my god, that was dark. Damn. Yeah, well, yeah. if you put it like that. For eternity. I hardly believe in ghost stories. I. That's exactly what I thought when we were first told. Buried on an island of the dead, what cannot be found. Damn. Shout out to the people who made this set. I love how everything is in motion because they're obviously, you know, are supposed to portray that they're in, on water. So the swaying. And the motion of the camera that follows it too. The actors kind of like going against it as well. It's really cool. There's a lot of really neat things going on here. Killing me, what is it you're planning on doing next? <gasps> oh yeah. Yeah, this is the worst. This is the worst ship you could have ever stepped foot on. This looks like a nightmare. This is not. This is this is not a good trip. <laughs> it honestly looks like the same team that did the VFX to the you know the mummy films. Flesh. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Oh, that's so cool. That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty damn cool. <laughs> but yeah, not being able to feel and touch and to enjoy anything is not a good time. I can understand completely why they're trying to get you know all the pieces together because that seems like a terrible fate. Anna Maria, I suppose you didn't deserve that one. <laughs> I love that slap. I love that slap. Just played itself again that is so good Without permission but with every intention I'm telling you there's smart comedy in this film y'all i love that we're getting so many different styles of shots as well too like from grand sweeping shots of these vast locations to like even these macro shots of like the medallion that they had as well just it, it's so well balanced and that creates such an awesome pace this film is just blazing through it right now i place things closer to the vest now and a hard learned lesson it was see three days out in the venture the first mate comes to him and says everything so he was captain of the black pearl damn so he's the og captain of that ship that's really interesting. Mate, Barbosa. Aye. How did Jack get off the island? Mm. Well, I'll tell you. He waited out. It's cool that we have so much lore to Jack. Even though he's been on the screen a lot, he still has a shroud of mystery about him. Which is... <laughs> I didn't even realize it until this segment here. No old treasure in silver and gold, mate. I was wondering if he was going to say that. That is so interesting. Damn. 
this just lets me know that there were some there is some very deep things that were meant to be placed here despite it being shown to like a general audience there's a lot of really great things here you guys let me know if i'm just tripping like if i'm just reading too deeply into it but that's just what my brain does you know the drill <laughs> oh, i'm so sorry please forgive me He's handling it pretty well. <laughs> I think it could have been worse, but I think he's handling it pretty well. <laughs> Trade me and left me to die. I would have an equal share in that curse, same as you. Funny old world, isn't it? Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that makes sense why he was like looking at her eating all those foods like that because you know he can't feel anything. There's a clever use of leverage in all sort of senses here. It's not just information and who knows who or who knows what. You know what's interesting about this too is that this feels like it would be a musical, but it's not. That just it's just the, the soundtrack just popping off right now. <laughs> But the way that this is being shot and the motioning of it, you know, that and obviously thanks to the editing, creates this like symphony that makes this feel like a <laughs> like a musical. But like not in a corny way. That looks, yo, that looks kind of cool. They are drifting and they're about to pull over and just sweep them. Woo. Yo, this looks super dope. <laughs> I gotta say, I freaking love watching that. I love it. Same thing with Master and Commander. Okay, that was saucy. Homie stood right under that as it was falling. Okay. <laughs> You're really evil, but that was really cool. My name is Will Turner. My father was bootstrap Bill Turner. His blood runs in my veins. This is <laughs> I love how he just walks off the camera. Oh my god. That is funny. His reactions are great. You swore she'd go free. Don't dare impugn me on her, boy. I agreed she'd go free, but it was you who failed to specify when or where. This guy is so petty, bro. He's so petty, man. He's so frustrating to do anything regarding a deal with. I spent three days lying on a beach drinking rum. Welcome to the Caribbean, life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Not just the Spanish main love. The entire ocean. The entire world. Whatever we want. This is dope because they low-key have the same passion. It makes sense that she would look up to him, but... I think she's the only one that can kind of, like, understand, besides his crew, about how passionate he is. I'm starting to really realize how deep and layered this character is <laughs> it's kind of cool no <laughs> he's like no this is not it you give it one hour maybe two keep a weather eye open and you will see white sails on that horizon to play on he's yo that is yo guys that's crazy because like out of all the people who i've known that has told me about this film and just even for me hearing it y'all have not stressed how freaking hilarious this is it's crazy commodore i beg you please do this for me as a wedding gift are you accepting the commodore's proposal this dude, man. This dude, after all she's been through, <laughs> he's like, 
Are you going to say yes to him? Come on, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> My man's just pushing through the crowd. <laughs> Jack. It was like, bro, why are you here? How did you get here? How did you escape again? <laughs> Dude, no way. No way. That is pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot that they could just do this. It's cool that you were able to see who they were because they're passing under the moonlight. But as soon as they step into the moonlight, they turn into skeletons again. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Love how they're implementing that. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way you can even fight against them. They can't die. This is a instant win for the pirates. Here we go. I was waiting to hear the music. I'm like, I know this music. <laughs> Yeah, that's horrific. <laughs> that's horrific. I love how they did that. Oh, he's the, I was just about to say, yo, that's crazy. No wonder. So he was cursed as well. <laughs> they got some evil dead thing popping off right here. <laughs> I love how this dude runs, man. <laughs> Bloody pirates. <laughs> they were like, yeah. <laughs> if they're like guidelines, then sayonara. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <Come on! laughs> I gotta say, shout out to these normal men who are not frightened at the very least that they're fighting skeletons. <laughs> fire double team. Heck yeah, that is immensely fire. <laughs> There's some good choreography as well that's like happening here. I want to like give some props to that. Got him. Got him. No, you're going to be bleeding now. That's crazy. The moment he returns to his normal body, he's dead. But at least he gets to feel the sensation of, I guess, getting shot in the chest. <laughs> but man came back looking like the Burger King. <laughs> I should have told you every day from the moment I met you. I love you. Damn. Oh, wow. He said that straight up. He said that to... <laughs> hey, go ahead, homie. <laughs> Good throw, dog. That was such a great callback. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, see, the choreography is off the charts, man. What the heck? I hope you guys realize now what I mean by when I say this is like playing out like a play. <laughs> like it's a stage performance. So this is where your heart truly lies, then? It is. So I do got to say, I don't know what homie has done, but he just seems to have been caught in the crossfires of all this. 
<laughs> he seems like a reasonable person, but <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. You're you're just on the lame team today. It would never have worked between us, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, he's so fire. <laughs> he's so fire, man. You will always remember as the day that you. And that's the same place that the other girl fell from, too. That's funny. Perhaps on the rare occasion, pursuing the right course demands an act of piracy. See, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I don't think he's a bad dude. He just happens to belong to the, you know, the lame side of the team. Like he was bounded by law or whatever. <laughs> and really bad eggs. <laughs> Alright everybody, and that is the end so far to Pirates of the Caribbean. Alright everybody, we just got done Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Pearl. This was a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be happened i'm kind of like blown away by this I, i'm not gonna lie uh whereas like lord of the rings it felt like you know i knew i was going to step into this epic not to say that you know pirates of the caribbean isn't on the same epicness scale of lord of the rings but it just didn't carry that weight as much as it did in terms of how pop culture left it to be coming into this for the first time but I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I'm genuinely shocked that I could see how they made several films afterwards because Jack Sparrow's character, just Jack Sparrow, is so heavily layered and they found a way to keep his character in, you know, still in a shroud of mystery. So there's so much to explore, but then there's this, there's this allure to him. There's this passion to him. You can really explore his character in three dimensions, which is the past, the present, and the future. And that's really awesome. You know, I was really blown away by that because I don't know. I just I just wasn't expecting that in depth of a character. But then again, you have Johnny Depp, who was able to really bring forth a lot of these characteristics that I would say are on par with like, you know, people like Jim Carrey that are able to just accentuate and just heighten the already well-written character that they are so it's really cool seeing how johnny depp is just able to you know create his own mannerisms because i'm just gonna assume that you know he puts his own spin to it but you know how everything else kind of swirled around it it didn't seem like jack sparrow was the main event however whenever he was on screen he almost had this like deadpool effect uh, effect to it you know where it just was like <laughs> he was always one step ahead of the story, it felt like, but he didn't feel as though he was untouchable. And I think that was really well balanced there. You know, the pacing was great, the editing, the music. I mean, it was, guys, I'm serious. Like, I'm kind of blown away by this. I was not expecting to have such a good time with this, but I'm excited to check out the other films too. You know, um, I'm not too well up on, you know, all the controversy or anything like that, but I do know there is some. Well, some is an understatement, but the one that I am kind of like, I don't really see it happening is, you know, the newest one that, you know, apparently they're trying to make without Johnny Depp. So without Jack Sparrow, you guys let me know if that's like confirmed or not, because I just watched the first film and I'm planning on watching the other films. I don't see how they're kind of able to create this world without Jack Sparrow in a way where it's like at least a good send-off i don't see how they're able to do that because he's such a he's such a character in this it's really freaking great to watch him on screen so you guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below you guys know the drill but like always guys stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time Pull back in the back seat